Glenn Rice received the most votes out of the group, and he joins us now on the phone. Glenn, how does it feel to know that those Michigan fans hold you as one of the best to ever play in Ann Arbor? Wow, that, that's incredible, man. I, I've always said that we've had, when I was at Michigan, we had the best fans ever, and that just goes to show you right there and there. I mean, they still haven't forgotten about the old man and, and what uh, I had uh, an opportunity to do at the University of Michigan. So I, I'm super honored and, uh, you know, go blue. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to forget. 2,442. That's how many points you scored during your time at Michigan. Is there a particular shot or performance that always sticks out to you? Well, you know, it what sticks out most to me, and, and, you know, I've always been the type of person that never really worried about individual achievements, but uh, what sticks out most is how we performed uh, after losing our, our head coach going into the 1989 uh NCAA championship run. I mean, it was it was totally a, a team effort. Yes, I know I understand that everyone wants to, you know, put highlights, you know, what the what I was able to do as far as uh, shooting and scoring and whatnot, but it was definitely a team effort. And that's that really what sticks out throughout my whole career at Michigan. Now, you talk about that championship, won that game 80 to 79 in overtime. How often do you think about those final moments? I think about that all the time, and especially around March Madness time. I mean, they're, they're showing the uh, highlights of uh, the 89 championship run, and uh, when I get an opportunity to see me at a uh, younger age doing what I have always done best, shooting the basketball and, and, you know, doing my best to win championship. I mean, it's awesome. Anytime you get to relive those moments, I, 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 I say it for anybody. Uh, sit back and relax and just enjoy it. Shooting the basketball is right. You got 184 points through six games, a record that still stands. What made you such a gifted shooter? Well, you know what? When I was young, I always went outside, and I always had this thought that, you know, if I can go out and shoot in the dark, uh, that just trains my uh, body to you know, uh, stay in a, a particular uh, form, uh, technique-wise. And uh, when the lights came on, I just shouldn't have a problem making it. And, you know, that's one of the things I could do. And, you know, with just doing that. You can't do it just one or two times. You got to constantly practice it. You have seen victories at every level of your career. High school championship, college championship, NBA championship. But what did your time at Michigan teach you about winning? Well, you know, my time at Michigan taught me, I mean, that's when I really became uh, a, a young adult. Uh, learning the, uh, the right steps, the proper steps, I should say, of being a, a leader, being a team player. Uh, being at Michigan, you know, it was my first step uh, into uh, uh, adulthood, uh, hood, uh, being alone by myself outside of my parents' house. And it taught me a lot. It taught me how to observe. It taught me uh, how to and, uh, work harder uh, to being, you know, that complete player, uh, to being a young man, as a much better young man as a person, um, and, and, and enjoying college life and, and, and trying to uh, mix the – the basketball with the uh, schoolwork. Uh, it was difficult at times, but it was something that we had to learn. We knew we had to do it. It was fun at the same time. I mean, if I had an opportunity to relive and do it the exact same way, uh, any steps of my life, it would definitely be my college career. All right, Glenn, you played with some great guys in Michigan, and there are some great names on this list. But, of course, yeah. fan votes leave things up to opinion. Is there anybody you feel should have been on this list that did not make it? You know what? I mean, it's, it's it's a couple of guys you can argue with, but then at the same time, when I when I really thought about it, I mean, the two guys I that first came to my mind was uh, Gary Gary Grant and and Roy Tarkley, uh, because those are guys that I played with, guys who set the tone for me and who taught me everything about winning and uh, how to be a leader. And uh, I thought about their accomplishments. Uh, you know, while I was there, we won Big Ten. These guys were, uh, you know in the top five and you know, defensively, uh, Roy probably rebounding it. And I thought about those guys. But then when I started thinking again, I was like, wow, Troy, uh, uh, Trey Burke, Chris Weber, you got the right guys right there in the starting lineup. All right, lastly, you think this group of guys could get the title this year? The guys at Michigan now? No, you're starting five. Oh, my starting five? <laughs> Absolutely. Are you kidding? <laughs> yes, I, without a doubt. I mean, we, we have every position covered. And, and I mean, when you talk about point guard, 
with Trey Burke leading the way, with his leadership, his passing ability, even his scoring ability. Oh my God, come on! I they would they, they wouldn't need me to have a performance like I had in '89 for us to win a championship. And then let's not forget about who I call the guy who allows us to have a room in the big house, and that's uh, Mr. Cassie Rowe. I mean, <laughs> is that him averaging 27 points says says it all. We're we're, we're kind of like the the children of the group group compared to him and uh, Chris Weber, Jalen Rose, those are guys who I've been very fond of, played against uh, in the pros. So yeah, we we wouldn't miss a beat. I mean, we if we if we had to play four years together, I really believe we would win four titles. All right, Glenn. Congrats on the honor. Thank you so much for joining us here on BTN Live. Thank you, guys.